like it finally stopped raining. Yeah, the plants must be really happy for the water that God has given them. I'm going to close my umbrella because it's not raining anymore. Hello children, God bless you. I'm so happy to see all of you today. Where could Abby be? Have you seen Abby? Ah, I know. She must be in her beehive. Seeing as it was raining, I'm sure she didn't want to get wet. She stayed in there. Will you help me call for her? Abby! Abby! Where are you? Oh, where could Abby be? Abby! Ah, there you are! Hello, Wes! Hello, kids! Hello, Abby! I haven't been able to go out because I was in my hive waiting for the rain to stop. So I could go out and collect some pollen. Know what? The flowers look really pretty after a nice rain shower. That's right, every single one of us needs water. Water is a true blessing from God. Wes, do you also use the rainwater to bathe yourself? I don't use water that way. I have a local source of water in my community. But what's a local source of water, Wes? I'll tell you. And you children, do you want to learn what a local source of water is? Well, I'll explain. A local source of water is the place or means by which we get water in the community. Um, I think I get it now. It's where the water we use at home comes from. There are some communities whose local source of water is a river, a well, or an aqueduct. Wow! In that case, there are many sources to get the water that we use at home. In every community, there are different sources. That's right. How about this, Abby? We could watch a video that tells us more about the local sources of water in the communities. So that way we could learn some more. Let's watch it. God created water and our body needs water to live. Our world is surrounded by water. There is water in the great seas, the rivers, oceans, lakes, and lagoons. In addition, the Lord provides us with water by making it rain. The sources of water can be natural, like the rivers, or they can be things like dams and aqueducts so that the water can reach the community through the faucets we have at home. The water first gets processed by the aqueduct. For communities that don't get their water from the aqueduct, they use the river as a source of water or the water which they store in tanks and other containers. Having a local source of water is very important because if the community doesn't have a nearby source of water, the people will have to go far to get their water. We thank the Lord, our God, for the sources of water in the communities. How good is God who has given us water and also the sources to get it? Yes, we should all thank the Lord for water. And you, children, what is the local source of water in your community? Did you know, Wes, we bees, as well as other little insects, always enjoy the raindrops that are left on the leaves after it rains. That's also a source of water for us. That's right, Abby. It's really important to the local sources of water in our community are very clean. If the water isn't clean, it could lead to many diseases for us. Don't forget! It's very good to know the Word of God. Will you join me and memorize this verse from the Bible? Perfect! Follow the hive and repeat it with me. Today's verse is in Psalms chapter 119, verse 69. 
I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Let's do it again. Psalms chapter 119, verse 69. I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. You're doing a great job. Psalms 119, verse 69. I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Now, you guys try it by yourselves. Really great work! Let's do it one more time. Psalms chapter 119, verse 69. I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Let us thank God for His Word that fills us with joy. Hello kids, how are you? I hope you're well. My name is Alexa and I wanted to welcome you all to today's craft time. Today I'm going to show you one of the sources of water that our Lord created. Look how pretty it is. I'm going to teach you guys how we made this natural water source. Let's take a look at the materials. Some cotton, a pencil, scissors, and remember, when it's time to use the scissors, we'll need the help of a grown-up. Some glue, some glitter, some yarn, and a little bit of foam paper. The first thing we're going to do is Draw the cloud. Then, after we finish drawing, we proceed to cut it out. But remember that we should only use the scissors with the help of a grown-up. everybody, I've finished cutting out our cloud. Now we continue by sticking on the cotton. Look how nice our cloud is turning out. It's looking realistic, isn't it? All right, children, now I'm finished sticking on all the cotton. So we're going to go ahead and stick on the strings of yarn. I have some pieces here. They shouldn't be all the same, so you guys can cut them however you like. going to glue them behind the cloud so it looks more realistic. And after gluing them, 
We leave it to dry. All right, my friends, I've finished gluing on the strings of yarn. Now, to make it look prettier, we're going to add on some glitter. And this is our finished cloud, our source of water. I really like it. What do you guys think? You can make it at home. I'll see you soon. Let's find out what picture we're going to color today. It's clothing. Help me to choose the pretty colors for this drawing. What color should we paint this beautiful looking dress? So pretty. Now, the boy's outfit. First the shirt. That's great. Now, the pants. It turned out really nice. Now they're ready to go out. It turned out really great. We must thank God for all the colors that he's given us in nature. I really liked coloring with you guys. It's one of my favorite games. You can continue coloring. I'm going to show the other bees this pretty drawing that we made together. It's starting to look cloudy again, Abby. Yeah, it seems like it's going to rain again. It looks like it. Yes, but we're thankful to the Lord for the rain. Exactly, we should thank the Lord for the rain. And also, we should pray for those people who don't have any water. Hello, my friends. Can you help me review what we learned today? Excellent, thanks so much. It's one of the sources of water God gave us in nature. The rain? The rocks? The animals? The rain! Well done! It's a source of water constructed by people. What could it be? A well? A river? A lake? A well! Good job! Who needs water? Is it just people? The animals and plants? All of us? All of us need water! Excellent work! You are some very wise children. See you another day. Goodbye! Let us thank God for the local sources of water we have in our community. And also, let us ask God to not let us forget to pray for those who don't have any water. Yes, my friends, water is really important to the community. We should take care of the water sources by keeping them clean. That's right. Well, we've come to the end of today's show. Thank you for joining us, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye.